What is up the Elite Nation, my name is Landslide101 and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to be discussing about what the heck happened to the Pittsburgh Pirates this year. If you guys didn't know, already know, me, Rusty Commander, Don101, and CM Baseball are all from Pittsburgh and me and CM Baseball are pretty much the only loyal Pittsburgh Pirates fan. The Hunter 101 might argue a little bit that he was loyal, but he's pretty much a bandwagon hopper. He only enjoyed the Pirates when they were doing well. I always enjoy the Pirates even though they have had a losing season my whole entire life. I have not been alive for a season that they have not had a winning season. And pretty much if you don't know what a winning season is, that is when they finish with more wins than more losses and pretty much that depicts whether a team's above average or below average and pretty much the Pirates are always below average. This year the Pittsburgh Pirates, if you guys do not follow baseball, really had a miraculous season towards the beginning and towards the end of the season actually. But towards the last two months they absolutely fell apart. Shortly after the All-Star break the Pittsburgh Pirates started doing really bad and it just looked like their team was way too young to even compete in this. After the All-Star break, the Pittsburgh Pirates came out of the All-Star break, I believe, in first place. If not in first place, they were trailing closely behind the Cincinnati Reds in second place and they were doing extremely well. Even several months after the All-Star break, the Pittsburgh Pirates were still doing very well. One thing the Pittsburgh Pirates didn't do to execute well in the trade deadline. And pretty much the trade deadline this year, they did absolutely terrible. They picked up people that were not good at all. They were pretty much washed up bums. They were never good. They were supposed to add bats to the team, which did not help at all. They were extremely bad and extremely wasteful. And they most likely will not be here back for the next season. And the Pittsburgh Pirates, a lot of analysis and a lot of sports analyzers and stuff. I don't even know if analyzers is a word, but I made it up if it's not. So suck my D if it's not a word because I can really really care less if it's not but anyways a lot of sports analyzers said that the Pittsburgh Pirates needed some more bats on their team they were really lacking bats because while they really didn't have too much power and one reason the Pittsburgh Pirates were doing so well was because of their star center fielder Andrew McCutcheon if you guys don't know who Andrew McCutcheon is obviously you don't follow baseball because he was in the running for the National League MVP this year unfortunately he did not win because of the fact that he just kind of collapsed towards the end of the season. He was leading most of the year in batting average, but he ended up collapsing and falling down the ranks. And he did finish with over a 330 batting average, I believe, which is still extremely well, but he didn't end up winning the National League MVP, which is actually pretty sad. But anyways, moving on, Andrew McCutcheon was one of the main reasons they were doing so well. Once he started doing not that well, the Pittsburgh Pirates didn't start doing not well. And that pretty much shows that one person can make a huge difference on a team. Another reason the Pittsburgh Pirates did so bad was because they were too young. If you guys don't know how grueling and how hard it must be to play 162 games in one season, that is extremely hard. Me and my dad always look at the Pittsburgh Pirates schedule and stuff. They play, sometimes they have no breaks within a whole month. Just think about that. Waking up every day and having to go to a ballpark to play a full length 9 inning baseball game or 18 innings if you consider the one game that they played before this year when they went into 18 innings in one game. But anyways, if you can even imagine that, 31 days without a single break, you are going to the baseball field for that whole time and pretty much it came down to the fact that the Pittsburgh Pirates were too young. They just couldn't hold on, and it's just that they didn't have enough pitching. Pitching was a huge part in their loss during the season. Their pitching ran out. They did have pretty good starting pitching, and they had a really great bullpen. After the All-Star break, they were looking extremely hot, and pretty much the Pittsburgh Pirates were the talk of the sports nation, pretty much, after the All-Star break, because everybody wanted to pull for the Pittsburgh Pirates because they have went 20 seasons without winning, and they were actually showing potential. Many people were getting their hopes up, and everybody just lost so much hope for the last two months and the last month of their season because they started going on huge losing streaks. And if you guys don't know, sadly, sad to say, 
they took a blow to their team and they ended up finishing the season two games below 500. They didn't even manage to finish above 500 even though they had a miraculous start to their season, a miraculous mid to late season performances and pretty much their collapse towards the end of the season was pretty much what didn't get there. And what pretty much what I hope for next year is I hope that the Pittsburgh Pirates compete. I really enjoyed watching them. They were selling out games that were nothing. The only games that they usually sell out were the Zambelli fireworks and stuff like that. Or the um, Sky Blast. Not the Zambelli fireworks. But sometimes, yeah, pretty much Zambelli fireworks. But they do the Sky Blast every year and that always gets sold out. But they were actually selling out games that people just wanted to go so they could see the team. And that's something that's really special. And I hope they continue to do that next year. And I hope that they actually do compete next year farther into the season because if you guys don't remember last last year the big pittsburgh pirates did go to the trade deadline and actually i'm not the trade deadline the all-star break and after the all-star break they were actually in first place but after the all-star break two years ago they fell apart and they actually did manage to go farther this season so maybe that's an omen that they will make it all the way next year i don't know i hope so i'm really rooting for the bucks because they are pretty much the only team I like to follow in baseball, and baseball is a really huge part of my life, and I really enjoy watching the Pittsburgh Pirates, and if they win or lose next year, I'm still going to pull for them, no matter if they're 20-0 or they're 0-20 for the first 20 games of the season, I'll still like them no matter what, and I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary, if you did, leave a like below, and remember guys to always keep it elite.